Okay guys, what do you think about this image? Cool isn't? A nice fog at the ground level. Beautiful trees. Maybe it is situated. Um, I don't know. In Iceland maybe? Well, this picture it's fully 3D created. Ground, trees, water, fog, lights, everything is 3D and today I, gonna show you how I did it. Let's start. Disclaimer, this video is not a tutorial. I'm gonna show you my creative process, and fast time lapses. I'm not gonna explain step by step the process. Now we can start. When you start a new project, is important to get reference images. I take those images from Pinterest because I love the idea, the ambient of the forest, the colors and the lights. Now that we have references, we can start the project. For 3D projects I use Blender, and it look like that. First we're gonna erase everything of the scene. Now let's create a plane that we gonna subdivide and sculpt to create the ground. Next we gonna create another plane to the water. And now let's make some adjustments and place the camera to have an idea of the scene. Let's switch to render mode to place textures on the ground in the water. For water let's split the screen and open the shader editor. I'm gonna try different things to create the illusion of water. Now ground, I'm gonna use a texture that I already have and I just gonna put it and scale. The shape of the water didn't convince me, so I erased it and remake it with a simple plane. Much better, now the grass. First I wanted to create it by myself but the result was not what I wanted. So I take a background image and create the grass shape with that. Now we're gonna texture those meshes and join them to create a grass block. For that I use an add-on called scatter object to create it randomly. There it is, a beautiful green grass block. Now I'm gonna try to put this grass on the ground with the scatter add-on but during the process it freeze multiple times. Let's count how many times my PC freeze during this process. Well, I think that's mean too much. So, instead of use the scatter add-on, I use the particle system, but not here because it close blender instantly, I don't know why. To make the project less heavy, I erase the underwater ground and the ground that we don't see in the camera. And I apply the particle system on the ground that we can see.
I hide the grass to not freeze the PC. And the ground didn't convince me so I changed the texture. Better. Now trees. I decide to take a 3D tree already created to not make this project longer. I recommend you this site, free3d.com, here you can find free and paid 3D stuff for your projects. Now that we have trees, we just need to scale them, textured them, for materials and textures. I recommend you this site, 3dassets.1, here you can find free 3D stuff for your projects. And put them on the scene. For this I'm gonna use the particle system like for the grass, but in less quantity. And now, we're going to build a bridge. Base mesh done, now textures. Perfect, and now some adjustments to make it look older. Well, now let's place it. It's time to place lights. And the last touch, fog. We're gonna make a cube with volume, and play with nodes to make it look like fog. I try multiple things to make it look like the fog that I wanted. Now another cube to make a forest ambient fog. Some light adjustments and let's switch to E-Cycles to make the render faster. And finally, it's time to render. Let's appreciate this moment together, in real time. No I'm kidding, the render take literally, 3 hours. Let's speed it up. Faster. 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 Perfect, now the render it's cool but very dark, let's composite it.
After have playing with the gamma a lot, I finished with 4 images, the raw render, the gamma 1, gamma 0.9, and gamma 0.8. Tell me in comments which one you prefer. Thanks for watching this video, hope you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video with your friends and enemies. You can find this design and more on my Instagram. See you guys in the next video.